Good morning, CIS, and welcome to this week's edition of CIS Friday Morning News. I'm Sophie. And I'm JT. Today we'll be covering a number of topics, such as sports and a special event called Are You Smarter Than the Year 7? and others. We will be covering the Mycania vine removal, which took place in the valley behind our school. What's a Mycania vine? It's an exotic plant that is causing damage to our natural biome in Hong Kong. What's a biome? According to Answers.com, biomes refer to a major regional co community which is characterized chiefly by its plant life and by its prevailing climate. We're down in the valley beside the school, continuing the Dream Green Team's ecological restoration, removing the Macania vines. And there's Chris up on one of the boulders there, doing a great job. How's it going, Chris? And here's another episode of Technology in CIS. We're on um, our English wiki. Yeah. We've all done vocabulary words. Which and we've written the synonyms and antonyms, and there's a picture of it. This is the definition, an example of a sentence, the synonyms and antonyms, and a picture describing the definition. And we're also looking at other people's wikis to, look at, um, to see their vocabulary and if they make sense. Hey JT, did you know that on March 18th, the CIS Education for All Groups is hosting a game show based on the TV program, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Well, what's ours called? It's called, Are You Smarter Than a Year Seven? I see. Well, is there a prize for the winning team? Yes, there are four iPod shuffles to win. Dang, I am in need of four iPod shuffles. Well then, go ahead and join. Next up, we have our sports news. Say about 200 kids come onto the field every day, average. Yeah. Yeah, and mostly lunchtime. time. Yeah. You know, including you, you guys. So, are so there any particular rules we should be aware of? Yeah, there's some rules that we try to enforce here on the field. First, no food and drinks on the field, especially on the grass area. Yeah. Because um, food just doesn't go away if you drop some some stuff on the field. Yeah. And uh, equipment, as you can see, the rugby mat. There should be, there should be line up over there. Yeah. You heard of CIS. Thank you, Colin. Okay. Back to the studio. A great job to the boys and girls D grade basketball teams, who both advanced into the semifinals of the interschool basketball team competition. Again, guys. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Ip regarding the basketball team. So, Mr. Ip, can you tell me a little more about the game? Go, Phoenix, go. Both boys and girls have and uh, Good news, good news. Good, both, good Friday morning news. Eh? Good, uh, the both boys and girls have won the uh, quarterfinal game and enter into the semifinal round of the competition. Uh, the girls will be playing at 10 past 1, and the boys will be playing at uh, quarter to 3 at the Taiwan Sports Center. Uh, hopefully we'll give you some good news and uh, if they win, they will be playing again this Friday uh, for the uh, championship. Go Phoenix, go Phoenix! <laughs> wow, those people sure work hard. And finally, over to the global news. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Global News. This week, we'll be talking about the mass unrest in Libya. On the 2nd of March, BBC reported that the UN had an urgent a mass of evacuation in Libya. There are currently hundreds of thousands of people desperately waiting to cross the border. About 75,000 people have already fled to Tunisia and another 40,000 are waiting to cross the border. Reports suggest that already 1,000 people have died to the Libyan unrest. There's some news about the unrest spreading to Bahrain, Yemen, and Oman too. I wonder where the Middle East politics is heading towards.
As you all know, Apple recently launched two highly anticipated products, iPad 2 and the all-new MacBook Pro. Steve Jobs announced the release of the iPad 2, squashing fear that he was very ill. The all-new iPad had two cameras, both at the front and the rear. For the all-new MacBook Pro, Apple improved the graphic cards. It also uses Intel Core i5 and i7. The starting price for the MacBook Pro is a $1,800 US dollars, and the starting price for the new iPad is $500 US dollars. Back to you in the studio. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend, CIS. CIS. Leave a blast. Hi.